Grievance for Kevin Lore, supporter of cause. This what the guy who sold this to me said it was a cheese bell. He said I would ring I would ring it and then cheese would appear. No cheese. So it's gonna be the supporter of the cause bell. So for all of you who supported the cause and did not get a bell. There's your bell. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Also today, for Cristobal Tirado and Matt Beagin, the happiest name in Disneyland. Grievance. This was my favorite song on Binaural. When it came out, it's definitely still tied for my favorite, but now I have more favorites, including every song on Binaural. Here we go. Grab me an E minor chord, and very specifically, you're going to plug E, A, B3, B open, open, B2, open, and then G, D. So that's ultra uber specific. When I do it, I like to get sloppy and just kind of go. I might even get those last two. Do however sloppy or specific you want. I don't care. Anyways, then you do a G. And then you kind of abandon your G and we're focused on our B string third fret and you're gonna kind of strum the D, the G, and the B strings and slide up to five. It's hard to get back, but you know, practice. Practice slow and speed it up. The first time you slide up, the second time Eddie does not slide up. So the second and fourth times Eddie doesn't slide up, but I think Stone keeps sliding up. They're all kind of almost playing almost the exact same thing, but here we go. My sloppy way. Yeah, and that's it for the verse. So the last time, even if you're not sliding up on the B string for two and four, I mean, good thing it's E minor, right? Because at least when we gotta do that and get back, at least it's an easy chord to get back to. But even if you're not sliding up on two and four, you might want to before the big guy, big eye part, because it's all. And then Eddie plays it power chord on E10, that's a D. My inclination is to play it on A5, that's also a D, but however you do it, I'll do it Eddie's way first. It's just such a long way to go, but we're gonna go 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, 9 right? And then we're gonna end up on E, the seventh fret of the A string. So, Eddie does down strums. That's not my bag, but I'm going to try it for you here. It's hard for me to get back to that A7 doing it like that. So there's the down strum way. I like to go downs and ups, and I like to play D here. It's, it's the same D, right? So uh, A string, fifth fret, and we're going to go down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. It's higher on the A string, so that's where I'm gonna do it. And then you do it again, of course. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, seven. But this one's different. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, repeat five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, seven. You know how it sounds, you know this song. And then after that long on the E, you open up your low E string. I want to hear more of that. So here's that part. Downs. Last time. And then the low E string. Up. I'm just I'm gonna break so I don't have to do that again. That was pretty good. Don't move. I just love this song because you can tell it was Eddie making art on his guitar with no mind to how songs should go. Anyways, D7 is uh, B1, G2, and baby E2. And then A minor 7, which this is awesome because just lose your ring finger and put Leave your pointer finger where it is and put your middle finger on D2. That's a five string chord. Back to D7. Back to A minor seven. And then somebody, not Eddie, goes uh, G on the E string, third fret. C on the A string, third fret. B, second fret. While they go into A. G, fail to obey. 
so here we go. You could do an A power chord, it's kind of an implied A major, I don't know. I think we hear that note, but it doesn't matter. Either A power chord, or your whole A chord, followed by G, twice. Now without me talking in the middle, I'm just gonna, here we go. Pledge my grievance to the flag. This is awesome. B8. We're going to also hear the open E string. I'm just going to, the E is going to remain open. I'm just going to call out the B number. Eight, seven, five, three, one, three, one open. You can make that a hammer on pull off. I like to. Eight, seven, five, three, one, three, one open. And then it's an E power chord, a low one. So we want open E, A2, D2. In my heart of hearts, I wish it was an E major, so I always play it in E major, but it's not. Nary a third is heard. That would be the G sharp note there. Uh, in the recording, it's just a power chord. Or minor third. Neither third is heard. You could play an E minor, you could play an E major if you share my deepest wishes, but I think it's just a power chord. And then you do your B string run again. Eight, seven, five, three. Third one's different, of course. Eight, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Back into our just once. And then back to this. And I believe back to our D7 action. Yeah, so after the second if they fail to obey situation, if they fail to obey, you land on E minor, but you don't do your dupa dupas before you go into the. And I swear, I swear, after in this one, I hear that G sharp. Maybe it's not in the chord, maybe Mike or Stone is playing it somewhere, or maybe I just really want to hear it because hearing is funny like that. Yeah, so then you do this thing again, and then you do the, the next thing, which is which is coming. You know, listening to that B run, we could have our open G string and our open E string. That time you hear the G string a lot, so do that or, or don't every time. It fits. end some way and then we go into the outro. Yeah, so all deserving something more. Into this four times. While you're having another drink, have a can't talk it. Into the outro, which is E minor. I believe leave your middle finger where it is and put your pointer finger on E2 really after the F sharp note and it not being too pretty. You can see if you do, this would be a weird D chord. It's like the better man chord without that note. That sounds too pretty for this song for me. So I'm gonna go with what I thought I saw in the videos I perused, which was just E minor. Finger goes up to the E string second fret. Followed by C, followed by A. I thought I heard in some live versions somebody playing C9. Maybe not that high G note. Let's hear that. You know, it's a C chord depending on who was in what mood, maybe. It sounds to me like a power chord on the recording. So you could do that. Feel. Alive as long as I am. And the cool thing that Mike does there, we're gonna have.
have the open E string and the seventh fret. B, 10, 8, 7. And that's it. That's how you play Grievance. For you three, Matt Began, Cristobal Torado, and Kevin Lohr, supporter of Cause. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the excellent request. And thanks for everything. This is amazing. You're amazing. We're amazing. See you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.